Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is Dave. We're here for actually a little qu a quick video. It's more of a review uh, video. I just wanted to do a quick rundown of the LSX only titanium lug nuts. Um, I have been waiting for these for a while. Uh, if 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 you guys have ever had like the monster lugs on your car, it's the, you know the fourteen by um, uh, what the hell's the thing? It's a uh, fourteen by one and a half um, thread on you know your SSs, your G8s. I think it's the same on the PPVs. Uh, then you'll know it's difficult to find lug nuts that are, um, you know, not stock and I'll say not half good, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So, uh, I've got the LSX only lugs. I've been waiting for the, I think they came out in 2019. I missed the first round of them. Uh, I just, you know, I don't, I waited too long or what it was, but let's, um, I got them open here. Let's take a look. So you can see. You know, a little bit of eye candy here. The uh, This is the raw titanium lug nut here. You know, LSX only. You can see beautiful uh, engraving on here. Um, and uh, if you're familiar with LSX only, G8 only, SS only, Joe Labruza runs that. Um, he sponsors the events uh, along with uh, Commodore Specialties that, that I run. And you can see these guys are mine. These are the black anodized ones. These are the ones I had been waiting for. Um... They're, you know, since they're titanium, they are so light. Not that that's really going to make a difference on anything, but, you know, you got to be careful because you can drop them easily. It's very well packaged, and um, I believe now, and I'm going to, I'll confirm this, but I believe, I believe they're, um, I want to say they're 200 or 220, and I'll, I'll confirm on, on the website, but um, well worth it. You say, oh my God, that's, you know, it's a lot of money for lug nuts. However, if you've had the monster lug nuts, take a walk with me. Come on over here. We're going to go down. We're going to take a look. Here's... Here's the wheels on my SS, okay? If you get in close and you look at these lug nuts, you'll notice that one has a cover. That one doesn't. That one doesn't. That one also doesn't. That one does, but it's probably not going to be around much longer. And if I go around each wheel, it's a story that repeats itself uh, across uh, each wheel on my car. So, um, I have the Monster Lugs. The lug nut itself is great takes a lick and keeps on ticking the problem is these things and i don't like to belittle a product i'm sorry monster lug you make a great lug nut you make a shitty cap okay these caps are terrible um not sure why they thought a plastic cap would stay on a car especially if you're pulling them on and off to drag race and stuff like that like i do or like pretty much every other person i do uh that i know um does with their vehicles so um, these things, that's a spare cap. That's my second spare cap because I've lost so many on there. I ended up gluing them on and they fell off. So once Joe made the titanium lugs available in black anodized color, I jumped on it and I finally, I ha finally have them. I would recommend them. I'll get the price, flash it somewhere around here. But guys, do yourself a favor. It'll be the last lug nut you have to get because look at integrated cap. You don't have to worry about it. It's got the conical seat like you need for most aftermarket G8 and SS wheels. Spend a little extra money or continue to spend money like I did for three, four times, guys. So you won't regret it. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't actually subscribed or anything like that, please do. Uh, I'm actually really enjoying this. I'm trying to bring you more uh, content. We actually have some more stuff happening uh, with the SS soon. Uh, I'm going to enjoy it for a while. I'm going to switch the lug nuts over so we can, you know, so I can uh, feel, you know, feel pretty. But I'm, I'm going to do the um, uh, differential. Got it sitting over there on the uh, on the bench. Uh, I'm going to do the drive shaft, and then I also uh, scored a set of um, G-Force Performance axles for the car. So I'm actually pretty excited. I'm going to throw those on the car um, as added insurance, and uh, we're going to do what I've been avoiding for months now, for years now. We're going to roll the fenders, guys. So I'm going to do a video on how to roll the fenders and what it takes to do that. I'm not excited about it at all, <laughs> but uh, we're going to do the best we can. I'll video it. You'll see how bad I screw up, or hopefully not. And um, yeah, then we'll actually lower it. We'll use the king springs that are sitting on the shelf, you know, over there now for probably three years. And we're going to get the car to a point that I've been wanting to get to for a while. And at some point, I'm going to get um, the uh commodore specialties uh i call it duck fin spoiler but uh, uh the uh, ducktail spoiler from uh commodore specialties 
I will hopefully be able to get that and get that stuff for you. I'm going to get that in carbon fiber. So stay tuned. Lots of great content. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button and take care.